Welcome to the Sign Writing Stream, where we show, teach, and demo all about sudden sign writing. On this first episode, we're going to introduce the Sign Writing Stream. We're going to discuss the current state of affairs with our technology stack. We're also going to take a look at characters, fonts, and peek under the hood, <laughs> peek under the hood a bit. So come on, let's take a look at what we have. Well, 2020 is a new year. In April, I've started my Saturday office hours, um, 7.30 a.m. You can find me on the Git public uh, chat. Um, links are in the description. At 9 o'clock, I should either have the YouTube video uploaded or I should start the live streaming. 10.30, every week I get to chat with Val, one of my favorite times of the week. And 1 p.m., I start my server development. Right now, what I'm working on is we need a new server. The server that hosts all of our websites is going to uh, reach the, its end of life the end of this year. It won't receive any more security updates, so I need to rebuild the server. I'm um, going to be moving all over all of the easy sites, um, sign writing, movement writing, a couple of the others. And then we're going to get to the last three. And these are a little bit more difficult. They include signbank.org, signpuddle.net, and signpuddle.com. Now these web websites may be uh, more difficult to, to run on our new server, which is going to be stable. It's going to be uh, also optimized. So when it time comes to move SignPuddle 2 to the new server, I'm going to open source SignPuddle 2. It will be available on GitHub. And then I'm going to backport the SignPuddle 3 databases so that SignPuddle 2 will no longer run on XML or SPML on the back end, but that will be available as an export. So if you use SPML, SPML right now, you can keep using it. But like I said, it will be an export only rather than the main data source. All right, the sign writing stream. Well, primarily the sign writing stream is to promote and uh, advertise our websites. We have signwriting.org, signbank, dance writing, movement writing, sign puddle, ASL gospel, the Frost Village, signwriter studio, valeriesutton.org, and steveslavinsky.me. Um, the sign writing stream, it is a live show where we're gonna show, we're gonna teach, we're gonna demo. One of the big, um, points of the live stream is to start building a community on YouTube, on GitHub, the Gitter open chat, or also on Patreon to help fund all of our great developments. With the sign writing stream, we're going to, uh, we're going to cover a bunch of technologies that are involved in sign writing. We have the formal sign writing in ASCII, which is FSW. We have the sign writing in Unicode, which is SWU. We have the International Sign Writing Alphabet 2010. We have regular expressions, JavaScript, cascading style sheets, scalar vector graphics, portable network graphics, and true type fonts. If you're going to be working with sign writing right now on the technology side, you should have at least a basic understanding of all those standards that we will be using. Really excited about the new Sutton Sign Writing packages that are available for JavaScript, either in the browser or for Node itself on the server. We have the core package and we have two font packages. We'll cover those more later. Also, I have some training courses we're working on. I'll be happy to show those as well. Formal sign writing. Now that we have all the technology out of the way, we actually have to apply it to what is formal sign writing. And the, the first part we have are the characters. We have the formal sign writing in ASCII and we have the sign writing Unicode. Those are the characters that we're using and I'll show those in a minute. For formal sign writing, we also have text, which is basically sign text, which is made up of words or signs and punctuation, which divides our signs into sentences. When we're talking about formal sign writing, we also have images, which are scalar or raster. We'll cover those more in detail. And then the higher level um, topics for formal sign writing, we have our searching and we have our styling. This is where the regular expressions come involved for the, the searching and for the styling that is where the cascading style sheets and, and other technology layers come involved and we'll cover those as well. All right, well, let's take a look. If you uh, go to Gitter, we have our uh, Sutton Sign Writing community. It's our uh, open chat. 
Uh, I have pasted all the websites that I'm going to show in this episode. So go ahead and hop on the chat, find the links, or add your own comment or questions. Sign writing. The main sign writing site, signwriting.org, is a uh, packed full of information. We're going to keep this site up and running and free for everybody to enjoy and everybody to learn. It really is a great website. If you find my work or the websites valuable at all, consider becoming a uh, patron of sign writing. Join the sign writing stream on Patreon. We have multiple levels that we have for funding. Also, you can find out a bit more about the sign writing stream. I have all the websites listed, talk about the standards that we'll be using, and also these sign writing packages for JavaScript. I really look forward to explaining these and showing these off later. On Patreon, you'll also find a brief history of sign writing. It starts in 66, when Valerie Sutton invented dance writing, and 74, when sign writing was invented itself. If you look through, you can see I became involved in 2004 and developed the drag and drop interface. And we had a bunch of other great developments. For our funding goal, we are about $178 out of 300 per month. This is going to cover the new server expenses and the additional services that we need to make sure that we keep the websites up and running and so that we can expand our technology so that other people can benefit. The sign writing stream, it is on YouTube. I don't have any videos up yet. This should be the first video, which I will be uploading later today. If uh, you care to subscribe right now, I have 15 subscribers. Once I get, I'm not sure how many it is. I get a certain number of subscribers. I can get a better channel name than what appears up there right now. All right, characters. We have Formal sign writing in ASCII, which looks like all of this. And we have sign writing in Unicode, which looks like this. Now, both of these are character schemes, which we may not care about characters, but this is where we are right now. What we care about is the output, and this is the sign writing that we read. Um, same thing over here. We have our characters up here and we have our output down here. Let's take a look at this. This is just a, a standard browser. If you uh, do any developer tools, just go ahead and inspect the element. Let's see what's actually going on. And you'll see we have this div, which is sign text. We have a span outside, a span middle, a span inside, and then for every sign, there is a separate div. We put some custom width, custom height, some margin right. That's uh, for spacing. Inside is just an SVG. And when we look at this, the SVG it has a width, it has a height, and it has a view box. Inside that is our text, which is font size zero. This makes it invisible. But here is the string that we need for that sign. Now, each part of that sign is a symbol, and we have the symbol fill and the symbol line, which is our font families, and each of those is at a different position, and these are actually the symbols that appear in that sign. So, when I was talking about uh, cascading style sheets, that's a CSS. You can see we have our over hover effect. Um, if we add this, the uh, a midnight color styling, just by setting the main class for this whole text, we can change the color. There's also an animate. Imagine these are all of our characters. Imagine if we had like a telegraph or something. When we click animate, it just takes character one by one and starts printing it out. And as it can build the sign, it builds the completed sign. So as you can see, this is a two-dimensional arrangement of symbols for each sign. 
Now, there's also sign writing in Unicode, which is an update from 2017. These characters are much nicer to look at. And if you see, these are the actual symbols themselves. Um, we have some additional information. These are XY coordinates for each symbol. And this as well results in the same output. We can style it if we want. We can also animate. And this just puts out one character after another. These characters are very iconic. They are very visual. And they're a lot nicer to use in some ways than the FSW and ASCII, although the FSW and ASCII is a lot easier to use. Let's get rid of all the rest of that. And we're just down to this one sign right here. Now a sign is a two-part word of time and space. So this first A part, we can actually get rid of it all the way up to the M. That's just used for sorting. We don't need it right now. Sorting, well not sorting, sorry, lanes. We can be in the left lane, which is an L, and you can see our dotted line is now over there, which is our center. If we put it in the middle, our sign is right in the middle. If we put it in the left, oh, sorry, right lane, it's over there. So let's see how that looks when we have our whole, oh, sorry, when we have our whole, One more time. All right, we'll take off the sorting prefix. It's still there. If we put in the left lane, left lane, there we go. You can see that our sign has moved over there. If we put in the middle lane, it's there. And if we put in the right lane, it shows over there. All right. The great thing about formal sign writing in ASCII is we can easily change an update. For this first symbol, we can actually control the fill and the rotation. That would be the rotation, then we can give it a different fill. Um, we also have access to the positions themselves. So rather than at 501 by 466, let's do 521, 531, 41. As you can see, we can access the actual symbols and we can access the actual coordinates. Now when we use hmm, FS, or sorry, when we use sign writing in Unicode instead, We cannot as easily update or modify these symbols because this is one whole character. What we can do though is we can copy it and we can overwrite symbols. We can also copy coordinates and push them around. We will get more into the characters and processing them later. Right now, hopefully this gives you a general overview of what we are talking about. Um, also, don't be afraid to actually look at the code. View page source. And it is just a, a simple HTML web page. Um, you'll notice that we have our at font face. We actually have three. We have one for the Sutton Sign Writing line font, which is, if you have it installed, will use your local copy. If you don't have it installed on your computer, it will go out to unpackage.com and pull in the Sutton Sign Writing fonts. We have the line font, the fill font, and the 1D font. You can scroll through and you can see our CSS for how to organize sign text. We are talking about those outsides, those middles, and the insides. And that just border left, dash red, one, or solid blue. When we display our sign, we have some custom CSS. 
All right. Go through. If you noticed when it went from white to black, that is just adding a class midnight to our sign text. And all that does is it just resets some symbol lines, some simple fill colors, and the background, and our spans. And then we also have this hover effect right here. And that's just what we say the fill is blue, and that's important. Um, special override that you need to add. And also for our midnight has a different hover where they will appear yellow rather than blue. We have our HTML with all of our characters. The Sutton Sign Writing JavaScript Library. This is an older library, but is still fully compatible. It offers some great functionality that you may want to check out. You can just go to github.com slash Slavinsky slash Sutton Sign Writing. It's available for download or viewing and using online. Um, the minified source is included, so we can go through all of that. And this is just what is needed to process the sign writing in Unicode and the formal sign writing in ASCII for that styling string and all that querying. Oh, really? All right. And then at the bottom, there's just a few functions where we uh, set some code. And when we change uh, the CSS to change, all we do is we get the element and we toggle the midnight class. Um, when our sign writing in Unicode changes, um, right here, this is our sign writing in Unicode. Whenever this changes, it is firing off a function. And that function is get the element SWU, trim it so there's no trailing spaces. And here is a Sutton sign writing library. We just say, hey, we want a paragraph. And here is our sign text. In this right here is what is passed as our sign text. And then all we do is we get the uh, sign text to HTML and just set it. And that's what this is down here. So if we looked at that, the output, right, let's go back to uh, inspect again. You'll see that this entire div2 is populated with our span outside, span inside, our span in uh -huh, middle, and all of our signs. And this entire input is generated from that one function call. So it's really easy to get some nice, pretty output. We are still working on our technology and we have an exciting 2D font that will actually get rid of the need for this uh, programmatic output work in progress. We'll cover that more in detail as well. We have the new uh, Sutton Sign Writing packages. There is the core package that deals with all of the basic character functions and the searching. Uh, then we also have two font packages, one for browser, which has the true type fonts, and one for node, which has a database. Let's take a look at the core. The Set and Sign Writing core package has a bunch of functions. Um, major sections, the, the two major sections are FSW and SWU, which is a formal sign writing in ASCII. And we also have uh, functions for sign writing in Unicode, SWU. Every module inside the core package starts with the same layout. We have RE, which is for regular expressions, which defines all of the parts, how FSW should look. We also have a great parse function where if you give it a sign, it will parse it out and show you the information contained in that sign. We also have compose where you tell it what you want the sign to look like and it will actually give you out the sign as a string. Additional libraries for queries and for styling and the convert. Convert pack or the convert module is a very nice module that converts between FSW and SWU along with some others. There is some great documentation. Let's just look at FSW. We're going to parse a sign. So it's a function to parse an FSW sign with styling string. It's FSW parse sign. We give it a string and we get back an object. So what we, that string that we give it is just an FSW sign. And the object that we get back returned is the elements of the FSW sign. So when we parse, here's our string. And 
we can see that it starts with a sequence. And it is a sequence of symbol keys. And you can see those symbol keys right here in our string. Corresponds with that one. Oh, sorry. And that goes down there. So that is just this first part, and this is the time element of our sign. Now after that, it starts with the M, and that is that lane I was talking about. So we have our box, our sign box, left, middle, or right lane, L, M, R. We have our max. That is a pre-processed max coordinate. We'll get more into that later. And then we see spatials, and this is just a symbol at a coordinate. A symbol at a coordinate. A symbol at a coordinate. And if you look at the SVG source, you can pick these out. At the bottom of this, we have also our styling string. Styling strings are a topic for another day. Now we also have the opposite, which is FSW compose sign. And for the compose sign, we just give it this object right here. Say, we have a sequence, here's how we're gonna sort it. We're in the middle lane, pre-processed max coordinate, and we add all of our symbols and where they are placed. And that will return our, sign, our formal sign writing and ASCII string. Now, additionally here, we also have the same thing with SWU. So SWU, parse sign, and you can see that here is the sign that we're parsing. And again, we have that alphabetical prefix which is used for sorting, and that's just a sequence of symbol, 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 symbol. We have our middle lane. If you take a look at that, you can see that, you can see that rather than an M, it's the S sign writing M. It's a sign writing middle lane. It's a specific character that is unique, and it is not the M character. It is a different character, but they transform back and forth depending on what character set you're using. Um, we still have the max coordinate, and then we still have this list of spatials, which is an array. And we have a symbol, this symbol specifically, at this coordinate. And that's all a sign is. It is a pro sorting at the beginning for time. And then 2D placement for our visual. All right, speaking of visuals, there are fonts that you may be interested in installing on your computer if you have not yet. Fonts can be installed on Windows, Mac, or Linux without an issue. Here are the three fonts that you're going to want to use. There's the line and the fill. And that's how when we create our 2D sign images, these are, are the, the fonts that are used. Now, if you remember, I was talking about that sign writing and Unicode, and that is these characters. These use that 1D font, and that's why we can see the symbols themselves rather than having to deal with the FSW, which looks like this. Now, deciding, do you want to use, huh, do you want to use sign writing in Unicode or formal sign writing in ASCII? Well, they are isomorphic, which means you can convert FSW to sign writing Unicode, and you can go back and you can set the SW in Unicode to FSW. They both have their utilities and advantages. I personally like the sign writing in Unicode. It is a lot prettier. It's nicer to use. It's also more user friendly to people that are not as tech savvy as other people may be. Uh, there's some complications when you use the SWU, especially in JavaScript, because it uses UTF-16. Topic for searching, we'll cover that as well. All right. So, install the fonts. If you are on iOS, or if you want a little bit more hand-holding, go back to the Sutton Sign Writing Project which is the previous version, still compatible with FSW and SWU. There is a specific components, and you want to look at the fonts. And if you're on iOS, you can scroll down here to 
how to install an iOS. We have the uh, two configuration profiles. There's a Sutton Sign Writing Symbol configuration profile and the Sutton Sign Writing 1 configuration profile. There's explanations of what's inside of theirs. You're going to want to install both on iOS, both the symbol and the 1. Um, Android. We cannot install fonts on Android quite yet. Still a work in progress. But what you can do is here are the font face declarations. Any web page that you make or application, you can use these sentences right here. And local, if it's installed on the computer, it will use the local font. Otherwise, if the font is not installed, it will say, hey, here's the URL for the font. And it will grab and download these files. The reason you want to install these files before is because the files themselves are two, uh, two and a half megabytes, eight megabytes, and eight megabytes. These only need to be in, in, uh, downloaded once when you visit a page, so you're not going to have to take this megabyte hit every time you access a page, but every first time you access a page, it's going to download these fonts, and after that, they'll be in the browser cache until the browser cache is cleared. So the, uh, the Sutton Sign Writing uh, project is available for download. We have our guide, our characters, components, and the internet draft. Um, it contains a Java under components. It does contain a JavaScript library. But they've been re these, this library has been rewritten. And all of this is available here. If you want to use the older JavaScript API, has a lot of good stuff. Let's uh, copy this first sign. And then here, when I say text for analysis and I paste that in, it will just run it on all of our functions. Huh. I didn't set a proper. Uh, font face for that. I will fix that. So you should actually see the characters rather than these blank boxes. All right. Um, I did have, once you have the, uh, the fonts installed, and if you use Firefox, I have steveslaminski.me slash demo. So let's go to this reigning hand shapes. Firefox. So, the sign writing stream. We're getting better. Our websites are up and running. I hope that you join us, help build the community, and 2020 is going to be a great year. I hope you enjoyed this first episode. If you have any questions, comments, or if you'd like me to explain things more or explain different things, go ahead and add comments or contact me on any of our uh, streams for discussion and I look forward to hearing back from you. Have a good day.